I mean, really, the only album I remember Dr. Dre producing in the 2010s was just Kendrick Lamar. And of course, you know, I hardly ever, there are not many beats by Kendrick Lamar I've ever admitted to liking. So I wasn't too big a fan. I, I like Good Kid, Mad City more than most Kendrick Lamar records, but I don't really feel like it was a classic. And yeah, when it comes to Kendrick, I see what you're saying about him. Um, I've honestly never really been into Kendrick Lamar, to be honest with you. Like when Kendrick first came out, well, in terms of being signed to Dre, I thought he was all right. I, did, I didn't mind Swimming Pools and Good Kid, Mad City and Vision Will Kill My Vibe. Those were all right songs. But he, he never grabbed me as an artist. He was never an artist I would really listen to. I mean, he's got a few good songs, but I'm not really into Kendrick. I checked out some of his other stuff off of Tim Pippa Butterfly, and I thought it was boring. Um, you know, and he just he didn't make a impact, I think like 50 and M did being a Dr. Dre artist. I mean, he's, he's successful and popular, but I just never really was into Kendrick, to be honest with you. Um, he's got some good songs, but he's not someone I listen to. Yeah, like the thing with Kendrick, I liked his initial album. I felt like his first album produced by Dre, Good Kid, Mad City, it had the right things going for it with the singles and stuff but i think like the popularity of that project just got to his head because you're right the songs you said you liked off that project bitch don't kill my vibe um swimming pools and then he had another song poetic justice with drake that was pretty good i mean those were some nice ones but i really did not like to pimp a butterfly and i didn't understand the concept of why people did I mean, he named his songs like I and You. They just did not really have good song titles. I mean, why would you want to listen to a song just the letter U? I mean, you can't really say U is the best song you ever heard in your lifetime, you know? So many different things about that. I mean, he came up with some pretty atrocious song titles, and the production on To Pimp a Butterfly was boring. And I kind of wanted to provide more detail. I mean, I noticed that I just kind of skimmed through when I talked about why I didn't like to pimp a butterfly. Like I said, some of the song titles I didn't like, but here are a few of the other ones. Like Institutionalized, You Ain't Gotta Lie, Mama Said, Mama, How Much a Dollar Cost, you know, uh, Wesley's Theory, Mortal Man. I mean, none of these sound like songs that really are about having like a good time i mean what sort of songs would you go out and go on like a road trip to i mean that sort of stuff or have like a picnic with like some beers and stuff like that or go to a dance club and those sorts of things i mean he just completely did a 180 in his direction and just wound up i mean i really i, I haven't listened to, to pimp a butterfly in a long time but i can just tell that i probably am going to be in disagreement with some of the singles that's almost a guarantee